a high-powered assault rifle was found by members of the police in a riverbed in Tankwell Hill, St. Thomas, on Thursday. According to the Morant Bay Police, lawmen acting on intelligence traveled to the area and searched the bed of a river in the area. During the search, one Galilee's 22 assault rifle with a magazine containing 29 rounds of ammunition were found. No one was arrested in relation to the seizure. Originally designed in the late 1960s, the Galil was first produced by the state-owned Israel Military Industries and is now exported by the privatized Israel Weapon Industries. The rifle, which was also used by NATO, is not commonly used by criminals in Jamaica. Against a travel advisory issued by its own country to Jamaica. In a joint press briefing between the police commissioner, Major General Anthony Anderson, and the NYPD recently, the NYPD stressed that the United States Level 3 travel advisory was misleading. It comes as Major General Anderson urged Americans to continue visiting the island. And from all indications, it was clear that the NYPD and the United States Embassy in Jamaica were not in agreement over the latest travel advisory that was issued for the island. Tarek Shepard is a deputy commissioner at the NYPD. The way I would describe it is uh, just because you have a homicide that happens up in East New York, it doesn't mean you don't go visit Times Square. And, uh, and, and that's basically what's happening uh, here. Uh, tourists are very safe. Uh, I, I was impressed talking to the commissioner about the, last year it being the safest year they've had in 22 years in major crime here. And so that's just a tremendous accomplishment. And for people to be misled by this, uh, this, this sort of alert that came out, on January 23, the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica issued a Level 3 travel advisory for tourists to reconsider travel to the island. It was just one level short of the most severe warning to Americans advising against travel altogether. Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson stressed that it caught him off guard because serious crimes have been down since the start of the year. We found it a little surprising that all of this was coming out uh, uh, now. And I, I, especially since it's such a critical part of our uh, economic activity. These numbers that, that we give, where we have numbers on our website, we share them with all of uh, our foreign um, embassies and missions here in Jamaica. Furthermore, Major General Anderson indicated that Jamaica has a low rate of crimes against tourists. He said 3 million Americans visited Jamaica last year, and of that number, there were five homicides, and none of them occurred within the resort areas. And all of them are both Jamaican and U.S. citizens. In the meantime, as the NYPD expressed confidence in Jamaica's ability to fight crime, an assurance for visitors looking to travel to the island. I guarantee you when you come here and you visit, you'll be back. It's, it's safe and not only will you be back, you, you'll tell your friends to come back. Six persons were arrested following the seizure of 3.8 kilograms of cocaine, 55 pounds of ganja, three motor vehicles, and over $1.3 million in coordinated anti-narcotics operations in Kingston and St. Anne on Thursday, February 8. Reports are that at about 1 p.m., operatives from the Narcotics Division conducted an intelligence-led operation at a plaza in Ocho Rio, St. Anne, where they intercepted and searched two motor vehicles. The search yielded 3.8 kilograms of cocaine concealed in food packages in one of the vehicles. The estimated street value of the illicit drug is 18 million Jamaican dollars. An additional $118,000 was also seized. Both men were taken into custody and the motor vehicle seized. Shortly after, about 3 p.m., a joint operation was conducted with members of the Narcotics Division and Jamaica Customs Contraband Enforcement Team on the compound of the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. During the operation, a motor vehicle was searched and over 55 pounds of ganja with an estimated street value of $540,000 was found concealed in a suitcase in the trunk of the motor car. 
Lawman seized $1.2 million, which was also found in the car. Four airport ramp attendants were subsequently arrested, while two have been released following investigative leads. The identities of the four men are being withheld as the investigation progresses. Two people are dead following a shooting in Trout Hall near Frankfield in Clarendon. A third person is said to be hospitalized following a bloody Friday afternoon in the parish. Details in regards to a motive for the killings are sketchy at this time, as police are investigating. A businessman was shot and killed by gunmen in York St. Thomas on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as 42-year-old shop and bar operator Delvin Hales, alias Short Boss of Shantytown, York, in the parish. Reports are that about 8.30 p.m., residents of the community heard loud explosions and alerted the police. On their arrival, Hale's bullet-riddled body was found inside his business establishment. He was transported to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead while investigations are ongoing into the development. Let's play!